Over to Linda. All right. Thanks, Mark. From communication and safety to self-esteem and more, a new book teaches caregivers 10 essential abilities every child needs and deserves to learn. We're talking about kids with autism. And there's also a new magazine out that helps parents called The Autism File. And the author, Chantal Cecile Kira, is here. She also wrote Autism Spectrum Disorders and Adolescents on the Autism Spectrum. So you have 20 years of experience on this subject. That's right. But probably most importantly, it's a very personal experience that you have with your son Jeremy. Yes, because I worked with people with autism a long time ago, but then now I have my son who's 19, and when he was born 19 years ago, there wasn't much information out there to help. And it's been amazing to see how my son has progressed in all these years. Now, he goes to Torrey Pines High School? That's correct. Yeah, so th that's wonderful. Can you tell us a little bit more about him? Uh, he's very severely impacted by autism. In fact, when he was little, I was told to find a good institution for him. And I have. It's called Torrey Pines High School <laughs> at this point. But uh, he really has a hard problem with sensory processing, which means how he hears and understands what he's hearing and seeing. But also, he can't communicate verbally. So it's been a long process, but I found a way to teach him to point to letters mm -hmm. and to communicate in that way. And that has totally opened up his life and changed everything for him. Now, reading about this book, which is Autism Life Skills, we have a copy of the book here and this magazine article as well. And this is kind of a bill of rights that every person with autism that you should know about every person. So Correct. tell us about what this third book is about. Well, this third book is written because when my son uh, turns 18, we started talking more about transition and preparing for the real world after school. And, you know, you start thinking when your kids are older, have I done the right thing? What should I be doing to help them as a grown-up when they're going to be on their own? So I decided to interview all these people with autism to ask them what was important to them growing up. All across the spectrum. All across the spectrum, from people like Amanda Beggs, who we've seen on YouTube, on CNN, or people like Sue Rubin, who can only type and that are very severely impacted by autism, to people who have Asperger's, who are on the more able ends of the spectrum. And it was amazing how all of them had challenges in the same areas, they just had different ways of compensating for them. And so I was thinking, instead of just teaching their ABCs and 123s, we need to be focusing on things like self-esteem, self-regulation. And, and getting through in that, in that social world, which is Correct. so hard. You know, I, I've said this before on the show, uh, my twin brother has autism, mm -hmm. uh, but he wasn't diagnosed till he was 21 because they didn't talk about the spectrum right. or where you were on it. And right. one of the quotes in your book that was very interesting was you said, you know, when you meet one person with autism, you meet one person with autism because everybody is different. That's they correct. have similar characteristics, but everyone is so different. Yeah, the way they're impacted is so different. And so to think that my son has autism and your brother has autism, but yet they have totally different lives and different ways that it affects them, even though in similar areas... Uh, it's just amazing that it's under the same diagnosis. And also in your book, you were right, you, uh, there was part of it that you were talking about how uh, your son communicates. And right. there's something called a light writer. Can you tell us what that right. is? Right. So it's like a little computer, and it has little screens on each side, one facing the person who's typing and one facing the other way. And it's just a keyboard. And so he can type in there, like on a computer, there's a space bar and everything. When he hits return, it talks. Yeah. And so he can put in there whatever he wants to say. And so, it could be a complex thought about worry about a teacher or something to eat. That's right? correct. Everything from simple to complex. Yeah. So um, he was highlighted in last year on MTV's True Life, I right. Have Autism, and actually got to go to an award ceremony and hand out an award. With He wrote a speech in The Light Writer? Yes, he did. He... How was that moment for you? Well, it was just amazing, first of all, that MTV producers asked us to go up to Paramount Studios and to receive the award for them. And uh, we did the red carpet. There were all these stars. And Jeremy prepared the speech, and he typed it in there. And when it was time to go on the stage, I was really nervous. I was nervous about him being able to get up there. I was nervous about me tripping on the stairs. And all he had to do once he got up there, though, was to push one button because he had already done all the work and typed it ahead of time into memory. So he pushed that button, and it read into the microphone. And it just felt so amazing because I thought, you know, here's a kid who five years ago could not communicate. And he still looks so impacted by autism, but this has changed his whole life because we know he can learn. We know what he's thinking and feeling. Yeah, and you know, so you know what you're talking about with this. Yes. So if anybody who is impacted by this, uh, Autism Life Skills, we have the information linked to our website. And there's a book and magazine launch on Monday, October 6th, from 4 to 7, at the Poseidon Restaurant in Del Mar. And again, part of the proceeds will go to the Autism Research Institute and also a dollar from each of your book that's sold at uh, Barnes & Noble during that time. Correct. Okay, well, again, it, I know that's a lot to throw out there at once, but if you want more information, go to sandiego6.com. So nice to Thank meet you. Thank you for having me on your show.